Let's talk about some of the cuts that have been agreed to. Mitt Romney said in an interview on NBC that Republicans were wrong to agree to a deal last summer that included automatic cuts to defense spending in exchange for this agreement to raise the debt ceiling. He said it was a big mistake by Republicans. He's talking about you because you voted for those cuts, correct? I did. You know why I voted for it? Because I was working to find common ground with Democrats to get a down payment on deficit reduction. I worked with President Obama to find common ground to get a down payment on deficit reduction. It wasn't a big down payment, but it was a step in the right direction. Here's the issue. Bob Woodward just wrote this in his book. The devastating defense cuts that are now coming due were insisted upon by the Obama administration so that they would not have to face another debt ceiling increase before the election. But Congressman, that's, this putting, yes, that's, that putting, that's putting politics ahead of national security. More to the point, Nora, I authored the bill, brought it to the floor and passed it to prevent the president's irresponsible devastating defense cuts from occurring by cutting wasteful Washington spending in other areas of government to replace these defense cuts. Congressman, Obama's these defense cuts this. are part of the Budget Control Act. You voted for the Budget Control Act. In fact, I went and looked. You put out a statement at the time that it was passed, and you called it a victory, and you called it a positive step forward. So yes. you and voted for defense cuts, and now you're criticizing I, the president for those same defense cuts that you voted for and called a victory. No, no. I have to correct you on this, Nora. I voted for a mechanism that says a sequester will occur if we don't cut $1.2 trillion in spending in government. We offered $1.2 trillion in various, the super committee offered it. We passed in the House a bill to prevent those devastating defense cuts by cutting spending elsewhere. The Senate's done nothing. President Obama's done nothing. I wrote another bill, passed it, got signed into law. Democrats supported us. For President Obama, if he's not going to help us with a plan to prevent those defense cuts by substituting them from elsewhere, What's his plan for the sequester? He's ignoring the law. He was supposed to put, give these to us just yesterday. Mm -hmm. So the problem, Nora, is we've led. We wanted to have a bipartisan agreement. We got that. And the president hasn't fulfilled his end of that bipartisan agreement. The goal was never that these defense cuts actually occur. The goal is that we get to work and cut spending so that we prevent those defense cuts. We've well, done that. Congressman, the president it's hasn't. my understanding that as part of the Budget Control Act, there was not just uh, the sequestration, the defense sequestration, but there was also a trillion dollars in immediate spending cuts, which included the defense cuts, almost 400 billion that were proposed by the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Mr. Dempsey, as well as Secretary Panetta. And you also voted for those. And now you're saying no, that, you sh that you didn't so vote for them? We can get in this nomenclature. I voted for the Budget Control Act, but the Obama administration proposed $478 billion in defense cuts. We don't agree with that. Our budget rejected that. And then on top of that is another $500 billion right. in defense cuts coming from the sequester. It's a trillion dollars in defense spending, and you voted for it. No, Nora. You voted, I voted for, for the it. Budget Control Act. That, was, that you're, included you're defense spending. Nora, you're mistaken. I do not support the Obama budget. I do not support the Obama $478 billion in cuts. So, number one, that's half of the trillion we don't support. Our budget reflected that. Number two, we passed legislation to reflect what we want as part of the Budget Control Act, which is to cut spending in other areas of government instead of the Pentagon. That bill is sitting in the Senate right now. President Obama has done nothing to support it, to oppose it. He hasn't even shown us how he's going to implement the sequester. And if you go back and read the tape, if you go back and read Bob Woodward's book, the reason the defense cuts are in the sequester as they are was at the insistence of the Obama administration.